All right, time to get a video of these two kitties that um, absolutely adore each other. So they need to go together, even though right now they're in separate bedrooms um, per their choice. On the left is Bassie, previously known as Gidget, and on the right is Odin, previously known as Agent Pleakley. They both came to us a couple of years ago from a hoarding situation where there were lots of kitties in Maryland. Um, they uh, bonded super tightly here at the center and went home to a young couple who had to return them a couple of years later when their jobs uh, changed and they're going to be traveling and, and going to be gone a lot. Um, lovely cat. So it, um, Odin here on the right you can see has just one eye. He had that removed with us earlier a couple of years ago. Um, the uh, He had an eye infection and um, his eye needed to be removed. It had actually imploded. Um, but no um, outstanding issues from that. He manages just fine. He is a shy kitty, um, about eight pounds, lovely lengths, but he is pretty shy. So a quieter home for these two cats. Um, they love sitting on a screen porch. Obviously they need to stay indoors. They love to play together, sleep together. Um, they love to sit on la in laps um, and enjoy their people time, but a quiet home. Um, this here is Bassie, who was previously called Gidget. Bassie's a little bit more medically involved, so we have checked the medical um, box on her right up. Um, she has, first of all, um, uh, luxating patellas, which are kneecaps that pop in and out. That's on both hind legs, probably a genetic deal. Um, we had x-rays done a couple of years ago. We're going to have them done again this week, and we'll compare um, how they look to see whether this is something that needs surgery. Um, if it does need surgery, we'll get that done. Um, that will mean some cage rest for a number of weeks after that surgery is done. And um, so she may be, if we get that done, she may be actually a couple of months out before adoption. If it is not causing an issue for her and she can go home without it, then um, that will be the case uh, as far as surgery goes. However, the other thing with this gal is she does have what's called stomatitis. Stomatitis is an inflammation of the gums. Teeth look fine, but the gums get all red and sore and infected. We're going to do a dental on her next week to look a little bit more carefully. Um, what it does mean for um, an adopter is that she will eat uh, wet food over dry food. Um, that she manages with the dry food as well, but wet food just to make sure she keeps her weight up. That she needs a high quality diet. She needs some over the counter meds, um, including some, um, and a Chinese herb that we've had some good luck with, whose name escapes me at the moment, but we'll get her on that. And uh, it is typically um, and often a lifelong issue, so you just have to kind of keep an eye on her mouth, make sure that she is still eating. Get regular dental cleanings, that's probably once a year, and um, consider extractions as the vet may um, suggest. So these two kitties, smaller cats, she's also a lapsitter, um, a, a quieter player, um, but a lovely gal. She's more outgoing than Odin, she's the first one to meet and greet you, but a small, small gal at about seven pounds, and um, so today being uh, Christmas Eve, they have we have a little bit of medical stuff work to do uh, for her at least, and then we'll um, see about uh, having them ready to go to a home. But lovely, lovely personalities here on these kitties who had a very, very rough start in that hoarding situation, and uh, now we're looking for a great home.